We're real excited about the meeting today. Uh, for a title sponsor is Sylvester Comprehensive Cancer Center, and we have Truist as our presenting sponsor. A lot of other supporters. This is really the first annual meeting in several years that we've been back in person. We've got some great awards that we're going to give out. We have the captain of the USS Fort Lauderdale here. Should be a great affair. Well, this is the time when we celebrate the accomplishments for the last year, talk about all the great things that we've done, the people that we've served, the businesses that we've grown, and we also look towards the coming year with our new leadership coming in. We celebrate the challenges and the opportunities that we have for 2022, and I'm looking forward to another great year for the Chamber. It's incredibly exciting for us to be able to join the Greater Fort Lauderdale Chamber of Commerce the 112th meeting. People don't think about Florida as having that much, much history, uh, let alone over 100 years of history. And the opportunity for me to be able to be here to talk about the accomplishments that we've made, how we're coming out of the pandemic, how we're making sure that we can get people vaccinated and you know remaining healthy, and then also getting our economy really into overdrive, like we've had so much job growth under the Biden administration and so many opportunities for people to be able to make sure that unemployment goes down, that wages go up. Um, it's a good news story and having a, a platform like this is a real opportunity. I'm so glad uh, Dan Lindblade and the chamber leadership decided to uh, keep the event live. I think it's so important to bring people together. It builds continuity and uh, builds build some real uh, relationships within our, our business community. Since 2010, we've worked to get a USS Fort Lauderdale in our community. We are grateful to the Chamber for all the support that you have given us and having the captain here today and allowing our business community to have a chance to meet him. So we're looking forward to sharing this great event with the whole community at the end of July and they'll be hearing more from us. Anytime we get a chance to come to Fort Lauderdale, it's just really a pleasure because we're so welcomed here and I know that at any time we can get our crew members here as well, we love to do that and just give back to the community a little bit for all the great things they've been doing for us. I would like to congratulate you on winning the Terry Styles Leadership Award. Please tell me what it means to you knowing that Terry was a good friend of yours. This award will continue reminding us of what Terry did in the community, both with his companies, but what he did for different organizations, pro bono. He was a very big impact and a good friend of mine and I'm honored. This is probably the most special moment in my career so far. I have learned so much from you as a friend, as a professional, but also just somebody who is so kind and genuine with how you treat others. And you are so lighthearted when things aren't easy, and I really value that because, you know, we all have our ups and downs in our careers and our lives, but when you push forward and you show up with conviction, which you always have done, it really inspires others to be their best selves. I think it's incredible that Sylvester has the opportunity to sponsor this event and to be with our community partners here in Broward. We are the, uni the only university-based cancer center, the only academic cancer center in South Florida, and our goal is really to work with these partners to ensure that we can prevent, detect, treat, and cure cancer. I've come in as a 2022 chair as the eighth woman in the chamber's history. So. Uh, you know, it really does have special meaning that so many people have um, thought enough of me to put me in this position and I don't take that lightly and I'm just excited for the year ahead and for, you know, all of the great things that all of the councils have to offer and everything that the Chamber's doing for our community. So I think we have some great times ahead in 2022. What can you tell us what the Chamber's message is going forth? Well, it's definitely about regionalism. It's definitely about resiliency. We have some major macro issues that we're facing, affordable housing, transportation, global warming, sea level rise. All of those things we have to work on together in order to make it a great economy moving forward.